It was in 2019 when, tired of working every day more and more intensely, I said, this is it. I had been like this for several years and five broken relationships along the way, always focused on work and business, with hardly any time for anything but work, training, sleeping, eating. It wasn't just going backwards. It is assumed that when you set up a business and it matures, the normal thing to do is to work less and more productively with more profit. Well, no. It was becoming more and more demanding, more and more intense. And although turnover was going up, margins were going down. In 2019, the operating result was already negative. The debts of the business were the kind that prevents you from sleeping. Not knowing quite what to do, I thought I had two gaps to fill to try to figure out where the ship was taking on water. Taxation and finance. I started devouring books. Gradually, the picture became clearer. To my disappointment, now that I understood the lay of the land a little better, it looked bad. The odds of turning the tables were overwhelmingly against me. I was in the wrong business, like thousands of entrepreneurs, and I didn't even realize how deep in the hole I was, and that I wouldn't be able to get out without cutting my leg off. I continued my education. Taxation, business, valuations, financial markets, banking, and accounting. I started to apply that knowledge. I started investing in alternatives outside my own business. It worked. February 2021, my life changed forever. Since then, now backed by indisputable results, I have not stopped trying to pass on what I know, much or little, to those around me. Sometimes I am wrong. I have had no qualms about openly showing my successes and my screw-ups. I have decided to show what I have done always, to whoever has politely asked me. I explain why I do it, and what I do it for, my reasons and my objectives. We do not all have the same perception of the landscape around us, nor the same emotions. We do not all tolerate the same fears, nor the same expectations or failure. I recognize that I am hard to stomach. Since 2004, I have never lowered the intensity with my business, sometimes coming out on top and other times getting my ass kicked. I did investments in personnel, R&D, training employees, opening other countries, sometimes good and sometimes bad, but without letting up. Maybe without realizing it, I have learned to win and to lose. Now the kicks in the balls don't hurt so much. I think it was time to get it down in writing. The people I have around me, my friends and family, have the criteria to understand the show. What I have learned is knowledge available to everyone. Yes, some things require attention, but nothing beyond the reach of anyone who can read. Regarding investing, some of my friends have copied my positions. Ivan! Where are you investing? I want to go where you are. But I've been able to see that when the market turns around, no matter how much you want to copy my investment strategies, you won't be able to, not unless you understand what you're doing. In front of the screen, alone with the keyboard, if your guts are churning watching the chart turn red, I won't be there to stop you from hitting the sell button. Everyone is sovereign with their own money. I'm going to dedicate an intense week to you. I'm going to do it like we're having a coffee. Not a wine, not a gin and tonic either. A coffee. I'm not going to bite my tongue. We're not in grammar class. I don't care if you like me or dislike me, if you think I'm a jerk or a charmer, or if you want to give me a couple of slaps. I want you to learn. After this week, you will know more about money than the average manager in the world of banking or investment firms. With this book alone, you will understand money better than 95% of the population. So, let's get started. Today is Monday, and you and I have a lot to do.